Breaking news, the Agenda 21 extermination program continues. This Wuhan super virus outbreak is imminent in America, according to experts. This super virus that escaped the lab is best known for its sudden death syndrome. People are just dropping dead, like being gassed by Zyklon C instead of Zyklon B. And instead of an Auschwitz kind of concentration camp, you're going to get a Chicago kind of concentration camp. These big cities are going to turn into a kill zone. And instead of sending the Gestapo and the death squads, they're sending the super virus. Ladies and gentlemen, people should be concerned. Concerned that they've let these planes in like 9-11. The planes are 20 miles out. The planes are 10 miles out. Do the orders still stand? Of course the orders still stand. Have you seen the Georgia Guidestones? Have you seen these death towers, the fluoride, the GMOs, the pesticides? Have you seen these vaccines, the autism and the like? Have you seen all of the drugs out there? Have you seen life expectancy go down in America? Of course the orders still stand. They are going to liquidate the cities. They are going to exterminate the citizens, the sheeple. And you've known for years, you've seen the signs, the Georgia Guidestones, the Agenda 21, you've seen the Gladio B events one after another. You've seen these programs one after another. And you always said to yourself, oh, we have more time. I can play video games. I can, you know, just go to the bar. I can pretend like none of this is going on and enjoy life while they're unleashing bioweapons and genocide and the like. And that's probably not even the worst of it. Have you seen what they're doing to the kids in California out there? In any case, these communists out there in China are liquidating, exterminating people. And, you know, the numbers must be massive. Crematoriums are on full blast. And they're spotting major death pits through satellite imaging, fire pits, and the like. The video guy is so fired. We need a new video guy, ladies and gentlemen. Help us get one. Support our cause. Support our research at patreon.com forward slash STF news. In any case, this super virus outbreak in America is imminent. Southeast Asia is melting down. 100 cases in Korea, 100 cases in Japan. A city of 2.5 million people has just been locked down in South Korea. And how do you think those cases got there? People didn't just walk to Japan. People didn't just walk to South Korea. They took the plane. And there's probably more people going to Vegas, more people going to Disneyland from China than going to Japan. And so if it's melting down over there, it's probably melting down over here. And who let these people in? You're looking at it, ladies and gentlemen. Why? Because these FEMA camps are for you. These FEMA coffins are for you. And you know they're for you. You've been staring at these Georgia Guidestones. You've been staring at the TV for so many years. You know this beast system is in control. Cult members everywhere and somehow you've remained complacent over the years and now there's a super virus coming for you and there's nowhere to hide nowhere to run you've got to get in your ark and survive the storm and then you got to come out like a superhero ladies and gentlemen you got to ride the storm out and then wait for the goon squads they'll be coming for you liquidating block by block they'll say that your building is infected they'll say that you failed their temperature test and then you're gonna be faced with a tough decision do you take your chances with the with the goon squad or do you take them out ladies and gentlemen look people are committing suicide over there totally being you know mass murder genocided you've got fake book Google and all of these companies basically helping with the censorship and the cover-up and you think it's going to be any different over here? 
It's just like when they genocided the Kurds, nobody said anything. And, you know, what makes you think that they won't genocide, you know, people in America? It's already begun. There's no putting this genie back in the bottle, ladies and gentlemen. The question is, how long will it take before, you know, they lock everything down and start liquidating people? And it could be weeks, it could be days at this stage. We've been following this crisis since the beginning. And, uh, you know, if you do the math, we're somewhere around week four, week five. And it took at least two months for everything to melt down in China. It's melting down in Japan and South Korea. It's already looking like, you know, the end of January over there. So it doesn't look like, you know, we had eight weeks. It looks like we had probably four or five weeks. We're, we're probably, you know, on schedule for a major outbreak right now. But they're not going to tell you about it in the cities. They're not going to tell you about it on the television. They're going to hide as many of these deaths as just, you know, normal flu, you know, pneumonia and the like as long as they can but we're already getting reports that you know morgues are overflowing they're announcing an uptick in the flu it's going back up and this year it was just totally bizarre first it was influenza b and now it's influenza a even though we're getting reports that there's cases that aren't testing positive for a or b so they don't know what's really going on out there They've admitted that their tests don't work. This is a bioweapon. It's meant to evade tests, go through masks, linger on surfaces for 28 days, attack, you know, the diabetics and people with, uh, you know, acidic blood levels and the like. So most people are going to get whacked by the super virus one way or another. They're saying that people that get reinfected by this virus are dropping dead but the truth is is that they're not getting reinfected they're relapsing it's a ticking time bomb there's no cure for it people that get infected will eventually drop dead ladies and gentlemen at least that's the supposition at this stage But we've covered that in previous broadcasts. There's still a lot we don't know about this virus, but people are dropping dead. They're claiming reinfection. They're claiming uh, now incubation periods of, you know, beyond 21 days. What would explain for that? Given that most infections, uh, you know, are starting two or three days after contamination. And uh, it's, probably because these cases are relapsing. This virus goes latent, it goes dormant like herpes, and it comes back, and so it's just going to jump through the quarantines. There'll be no stopping it, and as soon as they figure that out, they'll start liquidating just like the Chinese. They'll start welding people into their buildings. No escape, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty much what we're looking at. That's the scenario that we're looking at. And the media, the social media, the television is covering that up now. You know, it's okay to be a skeptic as far as, you know, does this thing go latent? You know, is this thing going to leapfrog through quarantine? Are people that test negative going to be positive later on? Absolutely. And so this is a worst case scenario as far as uh, this virus is concerned. Right now, the entire system has gone into radio silence. They want you to think like, It's not coming. It's coming, ladies and gentlemen. It's already here. It's spreading. We recommend people start preparing and continue with uh, social distancing and self-isolation if they can. At this stage, there's no telling how far it's spread, but it spread super fast. If you saw the diamond princess out there, you saw how quickly everybody was contaminated. And that's just, you know, basically the typical story that we're seeing reported around the world this thing spreads so fast through buildings through cities it just burns through everything infects everything and people drop dead like crazy you know how many body bags we've seen you know on video here yeah i mean this thing is like 
you know, is like a chemical weapon in a sense, except it's spreading like a virus. You know, sending ripples throughout the cities and just taking people out. There's no telling what the true death rate is. There's no telling, you know, how bad the situation is. But we already know that it's here. It's everywhere. Everywhere the planes go, everywhere the roads go, that virus is near. And we've talked about mitigation. We've talked about what you can do to reduce your exposure as well as perhaps manage uh, you know, the, uh, the experience if you do get infected. And we recommend that everybody gets hydrogen peroxide as well as uh, baking soda, baking powder. And uh, raise your pH with the baking powder and rinse, gargle, uh, and wash your hands with the hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide deactivates coronavirus according to scientific white papers out there. And again, you know, the incubation here is now anywhere from two days to 24 days. Uh, we're getting numerous cases of super long incubation. We're getting reports from doctors on the front lines of reinfection, which means that, you know, either they are getting reinfected because this thing is like AIDS or once they get it they're relapsing which is probably more likely and uh, there's no telling you know what the true death rate is with this virus if everybody relapses into a heart attack and uh, right now there's just no way to verify any of the numbers but you know given the reports from you know from the quarantine zone it's much much worse than you know what they're saying and right now they just want people to basically you know go out quietly into the night and uh, try and avoid a panic you know we recommend people stock up now on all of the things that they're gonna need uh, toilet paper guns ammo people should be preparing for the last stand you never know how far this is going to go and you know they won't announce anything until it's pretty much too late they'll just you know, all of a sudden come on television and say, we got to lock down this city because of a, of an outbreak, just like they did in Wuhan. It only took 40 cases for them to shut down that town. And, you know, there's pretty much no one left. And, you know, they've arrested all the journalists. They've cut down, cut off all the information. The socialist media platforms are on board. But, you know, if they were at all honest, they would be showing you videos of how everything's been liquidated, how people have been genocided, and how this virus kills drop dead style. But given that they're not doing all that, you can pretty much just expect the worst that this will be, you know, uh, like a science fiction movie. And, uh, you know, if it's not, then, you know, we've got different questions to ask. But at this stage, it looks like it's spread beyond China. And that people are dropping dead, you know, in 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 Hong Kong, um, and the like. So, either this is a very elaborate, you know, bread and circus kind of scheme with crisis actors, or, you know, these people are really dead and have been cremated. You know, which, you know, what it is, I guess, is up to you. You know, what do you think this is? Do you think this is some kind of elaborate CGI uh, kind of thing, or? Are people really dropping dead uh, because of this virus? And uh, I don't think anybody can afford to take the chance at this stage that this is, uh, you know, just some kind of psyop uh, given, you know, what we've seen so far. And it's like nothing we've ever seen before, but it's really more of the same from this, uh, you know, New World Order. They're putting up the death towers everywhere. They're, you know, vaccinating people. They're genociding people. They're indoctrinating, you know, molesting, grooming your children. It's a cult of death, and they're not going to stop until, you know, they've you know, destroyed everything out there. These people are anti-Christian to the core, anti-life, and there's a reason why, you know, this is basically going to decimate Sodom and Gomorrah. They might have released it, you know, as some kind of Agenda 21 weapon, but, you know, the people that are, that are going to get that are going to get it the worst are, you know, the, uh, are the heathens, to be quite honest with you. So we recommend that everybody just get in their ark and ride the storm out. And when it's all done, 
you know, prepare to reclaim, you know, your birthright out there, ladies and gentlemen. They've tried to steal this country from us. They've tried to exterminate everyone. And uh, it looks like, you know, they're going to take themselves out like some kind of Jonestown cult. Let them go. There's no helping them anyways, ladies and gentlemen. And just prepare to take this country back once your, you know, once your self-isolation is done. You can see these videos where they're, you know, putting little children in the body bags and the like. I mean, it's worse than you can possibly imagine, ladies and gentlemen. And it's coming to a neighborhood near you very soon. And so we say prepare, get your mask, get your food, your water, your ammo, your booze. Get something to entertain yourself with for, you know, isolation that could last 30 to 90 days. And prepare for the goon squads that are that are going to go door to door, you know, trying to test you and force you to go to their camps. That's going to be their their ploy. They're going to set up, you know, checkpoints everywhere, and uh, you know they're already going to, you know, hit you as positive, ladies and gentlemen. So prepare for that. It's going to get ugly. And if you want more information on this and uh, the latest events, check out our website, stfnreport.com. We update that regularly, stfnreport.com for Stranger Than Fiction News. Be sure to check out our video archives for even more information. And feel free to mirror this content, like and share, put it everywhere, and uh, let people know what's coming, what's happening. You can laugh at this if you want to, but... You know, everything that we've covered so far uh, has given us, you know, little reason to laugh other than, you know, Sodom and Gomorrah and the like are just going to get wiped out. But other than that, you know, this is, uh, this looks like a very severe event. And, uh, you know, things are melting down right now in countries outside of China. And, you know, we're starting to see, you know, people drop dead, uh, you know, in Hong Kong. So... It's only a matter of time. There's no telling how many, people, how many people are dropping dead right now and they just think it's a heart attack or how many people are dying of pneumonia and they think it's the flu. And that's, you know, that's how this weapon was designed to make you think like, you know, nothing's going on until, you know, it's too late, until everybody's infected. This is, you know, like a dead man switch, a doomsday weapon. And uh, we'll be talking about this for quite some time. We'll leave it there for this broadcast. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Until the next time, if you're listening to this, you are the resistance.